We're trying on some more jeans today and I'm really excited because this is a pair of jeans that you all had told me about and recommended and requested that I tried on. I feel like recently for all of the pairs of jeans that I try on and like new pairs of jeans that I discover, it's not because I found them, it's because you told me about them. So big thanks to all of you who requested this, but today we're gonna be trying on the Old Navy Highest High Rise Jeans. This is a pair of jeans that they claim is an inch higher than their usual high rise. So that's very exciting to me because if you you didn't know this about me, I just simply could never have a high enough rise. It will never be high enough. I would say throughout the course of being online and making videos about jeans, the probably number one meme that I get sent is the meme about somebody wearing a high rise pair of jeans up to their neck. That is me. That is me, that is me. So I'm very excited to try these out today. I believe I ordered like six different pairs, which is kind of a lot, but I just really wanted to get like the full grasp of what this was all about. I feel like Old Navy has been kind of on the come up lately. They were really slept on for a long time. And since they extended their sizing last year and just upped their quality in my opinion, and also that they oftentimes have a lot of really good sales. Like, I feel like they're just kind of a go-to these days. Like a lot of people ask me for jeans recommendations and Old Navy is always, included. So we're gonna test these out together, see how actually high rise they are, and see if they pass my stamp of approval, which is very strict. We'll see. I'll go through all the different pairs that I ordered. We'll try them on. I'll give you my thoughts and we'll see how this goes. So let's jump in. Okay, so here is all of the jeans that I purchased for this. And to have a little bit of like a, a variable, is that the right word? It's been a long time since I was in school. Or is it the control? Maybe this is the control. Anyways, in order to know like what we're working with here, I decided to order a pair of their high rise jeans, right? So this is just their traditional, when you go on their website, it's just called high rise. And these are the OG straight. This seems to be like kind of the most common, popular pair of like style of jeans at the moment. I ordered all of these jeans in a size 16, by the way, for consistency. So in case there's any kind of like sizing discrepancies, we'll be able to tell. The last time I checked, I was a size 16 in Old Navy. So we'll see how that goes. But these are the high rise OG straight. So we'll kind of compare all of the jeans that we try on today to these. They're not, you know, my ideal style or wash or like patched up whole situation, but we'll go with it. So then for the highest high rise, the last four pairs are all the highest high rise, higher high rise. I lied. <laughs> So the higher high rise OG straight, which is similar to the last pair. These are like a cute little ripped, sort of like light wash denim in a size 16. We also have the OG straight higher high rise in a size 16 that are more of like a medium wash. I'll of course go into more detail as I try them on. We've got the higher high rise flare with secret smooth pockets. Fun. And these are like a light wash flare with a little ripped knee. So those look really fun. I love flare jeans. And then the last pair is the higher high rise flare. Again, size 16, but in more of a medium wash. And these don't have any kind of like rips or holes or distressing. So we're gonna try all these on and see how it goes. Let's start with the high rise and see what we're working with and then go from there. Okay, here we have the high rise OG straight jeans. These are in a size 16. They retail for $54.99, but I got them on sale for $7. $17.99, which is pretty great. These do have a bit of a waist gap in the back for me, but I think that that's because old navy jeans sometimes run a little bit big, so I probably could have sized down to a 14 in these, but a 16 still fits. The very first thing I'm noticing about this though, what I will say is that it feels like the jeans are like wanting to pull down. Like it doesn't feel like they want to be very high rise. So here is what we're working with. Here is kind of what we're going to base all of our research on about how high rise it is. I also have my my handy dandy measuring tape here because I know some of you will come for me if I don't make this a scientific experiment. So we'll start with the rise here. We're gonna go at the base and this rise is just about like 11 and a half inches. So that's what we're gonna base it off of. I don't think I'm gonna measure every single pair but in case you were curious as to what the rise is. So apparently these are gonna be at least 12 and a half inches which is kind of crazy. Anywhere from like 12 inches and up is what I consider like a super high rise. So I would be able to wear this tank top or I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this tank top with these jeans just because I feel like one wrong movement and like everything's hanging out you know and I don't like that I want to feel like comfortable and secure and and held and supported by the rise of my jeans that's kind of why I like wearing a high rise so here's what these look like just as like a sneak peek of what I guess we're going to be pitting these against I certainly would never keep these these are going back for sure um, just not really that much of a high 
high rise in my opinion. They probably could be, but these jeans like want to come down. Also, I'm not sure how I feel about these like patches, these strange patches on like the front that are patched up with a different color of denim. Not my fave. But okay, let's move into higher high rise and see just how high we can fly. I'm sorry. Okay, next we have the higher high rise OG straight. These are what I think are probably gonna be my favorite of the bunch. I typically gravitate towards a much more like light wash. I love a frayed hem. These have that frayed hem at the bottom. So let's see what these look like. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm processing my emotions in real time because these have to be the highest rise jeans I've ever tried on in my life. And I'm not just saying that. I'm trying to recall a time. These are amazing. <laughs> I'm really like going through it. This is like live reaction here. I'm trying to remember a time where a pair of jeans basically went up to my bra and I can't remember it, but I'm happy about it. Like this is probably one of the most cropped tops I own and like it's covering the jeans. <laughs> I mean, as you can see from the side-by-side -side comparison of the high-rise pair, like, the, I mean, these are just night and day. Like, this is a completely different pair of jeans. And what's crazy to me is how much, like, look at that. This is my bra. This is my bra and that's the jeans. Are we joking? It's like an inch. I love it. I am absolutely shook right now to my core, to my absolute core. Like, they weren't kidding. And I really, I didn't have high expectations going into this. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why, but I am, like, absolutely blown away. I need to like gather myself, collect my thoughts. I also forgot to mention that these retailed for $40 or I think they were on sale for $40 and then there was an extra 30% taken off. So I got these for $28, which is pretty amazing. The, also the waist gap like isn't nearly as bad on these. And I don't know if it's because of the higher rise and like it's just a smaller waist in general, but like whoa i feel like these hit my body in all of the places that i want for them to like the length is great it hits the perfect spot on my ankle it's not too cropped but it's also not too long i love the rips in the knees i feel like they're in a great place a lot of ripped jeans like as a tall person the rips will be like up here <laughs> because you're tall but these are great these are really honestly probably one of my favorite pairs of jeans that i've tried on in a long time when i lift my arms up like i did with the last pair and I'm like moving all around these aren't going anywhere these are staying put they're they're up here <laughs> I'm so happy. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and do the test with the tape measure just to see what we're comparing it against. So I'm gonna start at the base of the old crotcheroni and pull it up here. So we are at about 13 inches. That is crazy. And I feel like if I go all the way down to the seam, which I think you're supposed to, it's at like 14 and a half, which is absolutely in Sane. That is, it has to be. It has to be the highest rise jeans I've ever worn. I really didn't expect to be so blown away by these, but these are definitely gonna be kept. I'm keeping these for sure. All I really want out of a pair of jeans is for them to hit me in all the right places that I want. For them to be high enough of a rise to where I can wear them with even like my croppiest of crop tops and for them to like stay put when I move around. I think I've found them. And the fact that I got these for such a screaming deal on top of it is like literally just the cherry on top. I'm so glad I went out on a limb and bought these because I was just kind of like I've got so many pairs of jeans like who needs more but like clearly I need more so here we have them my new favorite pair of jeans everyone I cannot wait any longer to try more of these pairs on so we got to keep it moving next we have the same pair like I mentioned before these are the higher high-rise OG straight size 16 I want to say these were also $40 and I got them for 28 on sale and these have like a little bit more distressing and they're in a medium wash which sometimes like a light or a medium or a dark wash can totally vary when it comes to sizing so we'll see if these are exactly the same or if they're any different let's try them on okay here we go these strangely feel way bigger wait what aren't these the same style hold up higher high-rise og straight secret slim pockets okay <laughs> what the heck higher high-rise og straight secret smooth pockets so maybe these are different why <laughs> regardless these are way more of a loose fit like i don't i'm confused yes they are 100 percent a size 16 very thrown right now hold on let me gather it's strange because even though that's like a different type of pocket 
which like I didn't even know that there were different types of pockets, but Old Navy loves, loves a long jean name. We know this. But like they're the same kind of jeans. They're the highest, wait, what is it called? <laughs> the higher high rise OG straight jeans, but they're the same ones in the same size. And I this went the opposite direction, actually. I was expecting these to fit a little bit tighter. Something to do with like the dyeing of the jeans. Like when you dye jeans a darker wash, it shrinks them up more or something like that in the process. This does still feel really, really really high rise like especially back here but it's like I mean it is so so big I'm very confused I'm very puzzled here like is it supposed to be a looser fit is it supposed to be a more of like a boyfriend fit I don't know but also it's the same pair of jeans the pockets don't feel any different to me um I don't feel like they're super smooth or whatever they're called I think they're just pockets but okay the size discrepancy aside because that's very bizarre they are a cute pair of jeans they're just not my size I would need to size down to a 14 in these so if you are going to get these I would take a size down you can I feel like you can tell even just by looking at them by like how much extra fabric there is here in the front how much extra waist gap there is in the back like I'm really having a hard time getting past the sizing but based off of just the actual jeans themselves similar to the last pair I do really love where they hit like on the ankle. I think it's a great length. I think it's really cute. I love the holes. I actually like the distressing of these a little bit better. Like I wish I could take these holes and put them in that wash, but apparently that's not a thing. It's kind of hard to gauge like just how high rise these would potentially be because they're just not the right size for me. So because they're bigger, they're like sinking down more. They're like sagging in a way. So when I like pull them up to their full high rise, I mean, yeah they're they're high so even though the sizing is wonky and weird and that shouldn't be the case like if you have the same kind of jeans the same kind of jeans like not even a different type like say these were the flares okay maybe I could understand there's like a little bit of a difference between the types of jeans but these are the same jeans in different shades and they're completely different sizes I will never understand. But this is a really cute pair of jeans. It does remind me a lot of the Abercrombie, I think they're called the 90s straight jean, if I'm not mistaken. And they're pretty identical to this, except the only difference is the Abercrombie jeans are like double the price. And also they offer like a curve line. So it's more of like a curvy fit as well as like a straight size fit. So, I mean, do with that what you will. But if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, these are great. Like they're a great pair of jeans. I'm just having a hard time working through like the sizing difference. Like that's usually what my mind immediately goes to. But if you take that out of it, it's a really freaking cute pair of jeans. If it was just like a tiny bit of like taking these in, I probably would pay to get them altered, but they're just not the right size. So I'm gonna have to return them. But I do really like them, especially with this tank top. I think it looks really, really cute. I would throw in a pair of like Nike Dunks with this or even some cute slides or white tennis shoes or whatever super cute classic pair of jeans that are definitely high rise but it's hard to tell because they don't fit me right so like the last pair I would give 10 out of 10 these I would probably give like an 8 out of 10 but we have a couple pairs of flares to go so we'll see if we can turn this around next we are moving on to the higher high rise flare and these are in a size 16 these are the lighter wash and these retailed for $45 but with a 30% off I got them for I think $31.50 these look really cute if these are anything anything like the first pair that I tried on the first highest rise pair I'm gonna be so happy because these might be like my dream flare jeans the wash is very light but I think they're gonna be cute so let's try them on okay oh yeah 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 okay so wait a minute wait 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 wait, wait. are these are these supposed to be cropped um I need help I'm I'm confused okay so like I know that we're kind of supposed to be talking about the rise, but I can't help but talk about the fit either because obviously if you're watching this, you're probably interested. So I want to let you know. Immediately the waist is a little bit big. There is that kind of like really big gap in the back. So I probably like, I probably should have sized down in a lot of these, but you live, you learn, I suppose. Um, but I wanted to really compare all of these to each other in the same size. And like the first pair, the OG straight pair that I absolutely fell in love with, um, those fit me great. So anyways, the flare um, crop is an absolute no for me. <laughs> and I actually thought about that when I was holding them up. I was like, these jeans look a little short, but like, I don't know if they're supposed to be like this, but I'm scared. I do not like the way these look on me at all. I feel like if you're a shorter person, um, they might be great for you. But also maybe if you're a taller person, like if they're supposed to be a cropped flare, then maybe more of a crop would be better because I feel like with these it just looks like I'm wearing a pair of jeans that's been hemmed too short you know like it doesn't to me it doesn't look good so very strange and then there's also like 
Uh, it's pretty tight in like the top of the thigh right here, but back here underneath the butt, it is pretty loose. So interesting because the proportions just seem a little bit weird, but that could also just be like my body. It could very well fit someone else perfectly. I don't have much of a butt anyway, so that could be part of it, but they're cute. It's just not at all what I expected. I, like my range of emotions was very confusing at the beginning of this because I was so excited about the rise, which I will say the rise is absolutely Absolutely stunning it's perfect I love it don't ever change but then I was like overwhelmed by all of the other things that were going on like the length and the butt and all of the weird proportions so it fits great in the thighs it feels weird in the butt feels kind of big right here a little bit big in the waist gap in the back fits fine in the front very confusing cute pair of jeans overall but just very perplexed by the length I feel like if you're gonna do like a, a crop flare it needs to be like here you know somewhere where it's intentional and you can tell but this just feels bizarre so I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for the rise because I feel like it's pretty much exactly the same as the other pairs that I've tried on in the same style in the same like rise I guess um, but just the fit of the jeans is kind of weird all of these jeans are gonna be linked down below by the way if you're interested in checking any of them out so if you're shorter than like 5'9 maybe these would look good or if you're taller than 5'9 but to me these feel strange so like maybe order them in a size long or a size short depending on what look you're going for very weird though these are my least favorite so far looking at them in the mirror here like they don't look terrible but they're just not my fave I'd give them probably like a five or six out of ten but we have another pair so let's see how this goes and if we can turn it around okay last but not least we have the higher high-rise flare in the same I think these are the same exact jeans these are just in a more medium wash and these are also a size 16 they're also $45 on 30% off so 31 150. These do look like more of a full-length flare, so I will be the judge of that. We shall see when we put them on. Okay, last but not least. Oh, yeah. These are a million times better. A mil- a million times better. <laughs> I'm 100% keeping these. I can tell you right now, right off the bat, I'm 100% keeping these. And dare I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb. A, a small limb here. So it may snap. I may fall. I don't know. But I would argue, hold on. Let me get one more look. Okay, I would argue that these are, I don't want to say better, but maybe just almost just as good as my good American flare jeans, which are like $190 or something like that. And these were $30. So yeah, <laughs> I would say that a 16 is a good size for me in these. I wouldn't want them to be like too overwhelmingly tight anyways. There is a little bit of room in the waist, but I feel like that's very comfortable for me. I forgot to mention it throughout, but all of these jeans do have a little bit of stretch. So all of their OG straight that I tried on today and all of the flares and even the very first pair, like the high rise pair that we're comparing all of these to, all of them have been stretchy. So they're all comfortable in that way, but these are the most comfy to me by far. I'm not gonna lie, they don't feel as high rise as the first higher high rise pair that I tried on. There's so many high words that I'm trying to use to describe this that it's like kind of confusing me even. But they're still super, super high rise. I love the length. I love the way they look. I actually wasn't sure how I was gonna feel because they don't have any rips or anything, but I think they're perfect. I'm definitely keeping these. The butt in these, I mean, speaks for itself. Very cute, if I do say so myself. I would 100% wear this as just an outfit. I would throw on like some Converse or some Vans or something and head out the door. Like I think this is so adorable. These are gonna be such a classic go-to pair of jeans for me because you can throw on anything and go. Like I could throw on a blazer, a leather blazer, a freaking hoodie, like so many different things and head out the door and look really cute. And like, it just kind of adds that little bit of something extra. And for all of my tall babes out there, these are long enough for me. If you are shorter, I don't know, you might have to get them hemmed, but they are long enough for tall people, so that's great. I'm very pleased with these. Like, these absolutely knocked it out of the park. I would say that the OG straight pair, which was the first higher high-rise that I tried on, as well as this last pair, are my favorites by far, but they're all good jeans. Like, I know I mentioned this in the beginning, but Old Navy really is stepping up their game. I think that they, you know, a lot of brands have a long way to go when it comes to true size inclusivity and, like, perfecting kind of differences between 
between like inconsistencies between sizes but these are a good pair of jeans they're high quality they're really affordable they're size inclusive they offer the same style for you know the smallest size up into the largest size like I think that's great I definitely recommend them huge stamp of approval from me wow did I need to add two other pairs of jeans to my collection of somebody who doesn't really wear jeans that often no absolutely not but am I going to add them yes I am I am I really think there's a lot to be said for how a pair of jeans makes you feel like and these really do make me feel so comfy so confident I just love them I'm very happy with this glad I did it found two new pairs of jeans for like $60 like total that's absolutely unheard of and crazy so I'm very pleased with it highly recommend them links are down below if you want to check them out but yeah wow thank you to all of you who recommended these because now I have two of my new favorite pairs of jeans so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video let me know what you think about these jeans in the comments below do you think that there are a pair of jeans that's gonna stick around or do you think it's kind of just like a trend that's gonna pass through do you see yourself wanting to buy any as I mentioned before all of the links to all of these jeans that are still available will be down in the description box below so if you want to shop those check them out they're down there thank you so much for being here and for suggesting and making awesome requests for videos like this it really makes my job so so fun and I love being your guinea pig and testing out different pairs of jeans it's such a blast so I am sending you all of my love thank you for being here and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next video bye